Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, January 23, 2010. This week, Round and Round. How to round the corners of photos and maps in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. In Photoshop and Elements, there's more than one way to do almost everything. So if one way doesn't feel natural to you, there's usually another workaround. Last week's tip showed one way to create a mat around your photos or other page elements using the stroke function. This week's tip shows you another way to get around in Photoshop and Elements to create rounded photo corners and maps. Begin by creating a new document at 300 pixels per inch or opening a piece of digital scrapbook paper. Press the letter D on your keyboard to change the foreground background colors to the default black and white. Get the rounded rectangle tool which is hiding beneath the rectangle tool here in your tools panel. You can either click and hold the rectangle tool or right click to reveal the hidden tools. Select the rounded rectangle tool. The next step is to make choices in the options bar. Choose the shape layers icon and this is in Photoshop only, you won't need to do this one in Elements. And then choose the create a new shape layer icon and you'll need to do this in both Photoshop and Elements. And then adjust the radius. The radius is what determines the sharpness of your corner. The lower the number the sharper your corners will be. So if I start out with a 10 here, my corners will be sharper. The higher the number, the softer the corners will be. So let's go ahead and put in 50 and drag out another rectangle. And then at 100, the corners are going to be even softer. You simply click and drag out the rectangle the size of your choice. Holding the shift key as you click and drag will create a square. This creates a rounded rectangle mat here in the layers panel on its own shape layer. Now let's add a photo mat. Control click on the thumbnail of the shape in the layers panel. On a Mac you'll command click. This places a selection around the mat. You can tell that there's a selection because you get these marching ants surrounding your selection. Next choose Select, Modify, Contract, and type in a number here to determine the size of your mat. The higher the number you choose, the larger your mat will be. Now you can see that the selection is slightly smaller, creating a good spot for us to put our photo. Next click the Create a New Layer icon here in the Layers panel. This places a new transparent layer over your mat. Select Edit, Fill or Edit Fill Selection and uncheck the Preserve Transparency box for this function. Choose a color here, I'll choose 50% gray, and click OK. This fills our photo mask with gray. Press Ctrl D or on a Mac System Command D to remove the selection. Now you've made a mask that you can glue paper and photos to. Click on the photo layer and then hold the control key or on a Mac system the command key as you click the photo mat layer. Get the move tool and then you can drag them over onto your scrapbook page and move them into place. Still using the move tool, select the photo layer and open a photo. Drag the photo onto the layout and position it over the top of the photo layer. I want to drag it into place here. Now in the Layers panel, Alt click or on a Mac system, Option click between the photo layer and the photo mask layer. This creates a clipping mask. Use the same technique to clip pattern paper to your larger rectangle or recolor it using the paint bucket tool. If you're like me and you like to save yourself some time and effort whenever possible, be sure to check out these products at Designer Digitals, which will save you some time and produce really nice rounded corners in a snap. You
you spin my head right round, right round when you go down. When